There are millions of Americans that are out there seeking work and can't find jobs. And they need work in order to support their families. We need more jobs for our economy to grow. And we got into a debate in August about what we were going to do about raising the debt ceiling, and we we're all concerned about the deficits that this country has. And yes, we are concerned that, that our current deficits are not sustainable, but we will not have a budget that is sustainable unless we have more jobs. And you can look at all of the programs to reduce government spending or to try to bring in more revenues. If we don't create more jobs, we're not going to be able to get our budget into a semblance of order. The reason for that is quite simple, Mr. President. The more people that are out of work, the more reliant they are upon government services, the less taxes that are paid in to pay our bills. So for the sake of those who are seeking employment, for the sake of our economy, for the sake of our budget, we've got to create more jobs. So we had a vote this week on moving forward on S-1660, the President's Jobs Initiative. It was a motion to proceed. It was a motion to bring the bill to the floor so that we could get into a debate about the best way to create jobs. Many of us thought that we would have amendments that would enhance and improve the president's package. The president's package was a starting point for our debate. But the Republicans said, no, we're going to filibuster even the opportunity for us to consider jobs legislation. They wouldn't even allow us to move forward. Now, Mr. President, we had a majority of the Senate. We had enough votes to pass it, or at least to proceed, if it was a simple majority, which is what most democracies believe is the, what democracy believes is the right standard. But no, we had a filibuster that didn't allow us even to consider the jobs bill on the floor of the United States Senate. What I find that most surprising, when you take a look at the president's proposal, the, the individual provisions have bipartisan support. This isn't a democratic proposal. Every one of the provisions that the president included in his package had bipartisan support. The Congressional Budget Office said that the president's proposal would actually reduce the deficit and would create jobs. And it's been validated by the outside experts. Mark Zandi, the chief economist at Moody's, said, uh, and he was also, by the way, the economic advisor to Senator McCain during the 2008 presidential campaign, he said, and I quote, this is talking about the president's plan. The plan would add two percentage points to our gross domestic product. Next year, add 1.9 million jobs and cut the unemployment rate by a full percent. And there are many others. Uh, Macroeconomics advisors said, that the president's package would boost the level of GDP by 1.3% by the end of 2012, another 0.2% by the end of 2013. In other words, we're moving in the right way. And then going on to say, we'll raise non-farm establishment employment by 1.3 million by the end of 2012 and 0.8 million by the end of 2013. The Economic Policy Institute estimates that America, that the president's job bill would create 2.6 million jobs over two years and protect an existing 1.6 million jobs. And the Republicans say we can't even talk about this on the floor, that majority shouldn't be able to at least bring this issue so that we could have a full debate on the floor of the United States Senate. The president's proposals included areas that I think there is strong bipartisan support to help small businesses. We all know that small businesses are the growth engine of America. That's where jobs are created. That's where innovation, most innovation, will take place. The proposal would, would help small businesses with, with new hires and their payroll and expensing investments so they have the, the incentive to go out and invest in job growth. That's what was in the president's proposal, to help small businesses. In the president's proposal, we had a provision to help our veterans. We all talk about our warriors, our soldiers, who are out there every day protecting our values. They have represented America so brilliantly in, 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 in international combat. And now they're coming home to America. They're coming home, and they can't find work, can't find a job. 
with the president saying, let's help them. We all talk about doing what we can to help our, our warriors. Well, this bill did something tangible about it. And what do the Republicans do? They filibuster an opportunity to even talk about a bill that could help create more jobs. The proposal also provides for infrastructure. Infrastructure is building. It's rebuilding America. Democrats and Republicans agree on that. We gotta rebuild our bridges, bridges and our roads. They're falling, bridges are falling down. Roads are in desperate need of repair. Roads help provide economic growth for our country. It would help us rebuild America, create jobs through those who construct these new roads and bridges and, and, and uh, electric grids, et cetera, but then also make America more competitive. It would help those who are unemployed in several ways. First, it would provide not just unemployment benefits, which are important because that helps families be able to keep their homes and keep their family together and helps our economy because that money is spent, but it also reforms the unemployment system so we train those who are out of work for jobs that are available. In many cases, as, as, as the presiding officer from Ohio knows, people who have lost their jobs are gonna have to find employment in a different area. Well, the unemployment system should be reformed so that they can be trained for those types of jobs. That was in the proposal that the Republicans wouldn't even allow us to bring up. They filibustered rather than allowing the majority to bring forward a bill to help create jobs. And Mr. President, the bill was paid for. Didn't increase the deficit, as I've indicated before. The Congressional Budget Office said it would actually reduce the, the uh, deficit. I want to make this, the point I made earlier and, and, and underscore this. The motion to proceed was the starting point for the debate. The starting point. I had three amendments that I wanted to bring forward, and I'm going to talk very briefly about those three amendments that I think would have improved the president's bill. One would allow the Small Business Administration the shorty bond program. This is a program that allows small construction companies the ability to move forward with construction work, increase the surety bond program from $2 million to $5 million. It's an amendment that I offered to the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. Now, let me, let me tell you about the success of that program. As a result of increasing the surety bonds from $2 million to $5 million, we saw a jump of 36%, 36% in one year, 2010, in construction work for small businesses. That's quite a success story. Mr. President, guess how much money that cost the taxpayers of this country in direct costs? Zero. No cost to the taxpayer. Well, my amendment would make that extension permanent. And it's bipartisan. Democrats and Republicans support it. I have another amendment that would expand the, the infrastructure work to include water projects. Uh, water projects are in desperate need. We have a, a huge uh, need to deal with the way we treat wastewater and our safe drinking water. Uh, my amendment would add $30 billion for infrastructure uh, in our water projects, $20 billion to the Clean Water State Revolving Fund, and $10 billion to the Safe Drinking Water Act. And then lastly, Mr. President, I'm going to talk about the, the one, one more amendment, which is the cool roof bill that I filed with Senator Crapo uh, that would change the depreciation schedule for those businesses that put on modern roofs that are energy efficient, create 40,000 jobs, and help our energy policy. Another amendment that I cannot bring forward because the Republicans filibustered the motion to proceed so we can't bring up the jobs bill. Well, the Americans want us to consider jobs legislation. I hope we find a way to do it. I can tell you that I'm gonna to continue to fight to create more jobs for America because that's America's future. Our economy depends upon it, and we need to continue to focus on how we can create more jobs for the American economy.